well, this house will be all but done and they will ship this house out of here to uh, 9th Street in Tell City where we will have a basement foundation waiting for them. So we're really excited about it. Uh, we got just uh, just take a little bit of your time right now just to kind of talk about our project and what we're doing and have a few people speak to you. So, so today uh, we had a new home build celebration. The uh, kids are well into their school year now. It's September. They're kind of in their sequences and their paths and stuff. So. So we decided to have a lot of the community come out to celebrate the commencement, if you will, even though we've already got started, to the kickoff of the home builds. We had the partner family that we're working with uh, come here. We had some uh, uh, councilmen was here, uh, the sponsors, uh, ATTC was here. A lot of the community supporters uh, was, were here to, and board members as well, to just kind of celebrate uh, with the school, with Habitat, the family, uh, the beginning of, of this project. Hey, here's a bunch of Sharpies going there, right? If you well wishes on the wall. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool seeing that uh, how much coverage this house is getting and how, how big of a deal it is to the community. It's nice to see that Perry Central is getting recognition for what we're doing right now. So we know we already got the walls laid out here. We didn't lay out the opening for the living room and the kitchen area. So we've got to figure out how far we want the wall to jet out here and then over here at the the north wall. So we've got to lay those two out. And then once we have that laid out, then we can start framing our interior walls there. Okay, let's just go over and take a peek at it. Uh, progress, well, since last time, we got all the exterior walls up and we are starting on the interior walls. We're just now putting the first ones up. All right, guys, over here. So now what are we gonna do? <laughs> Good that's put. So we, we know we've laid out our wall on the ground on our subboard. We know we're we're gonna stop it. So what's our next step? What do you guys need to do? Figure out what our measurement is. Yeah, you need to figure out our bottom and top plates, right? Remember we're gonna have a marriage wall and we two walls together. Go ahead and cut all four plates 12 foot for this one. The right side was correct. And over here, whenever somebody laid it out, they just got they got two inches off. So we double good thing we double checked it. The one marks right, we just gotta fix this side over here. So Nash, are you laying this out? Come on down. Yeah, yeah. Guys, focus. So we, when we laid out the exterior wall over here, we got off by a, a half inch, and that's going to get us tight for our door studs over here. So uh, we're going to shift. We'll just shift it a half inch. We're going to shift our interior uh, bathroom walls in a half inch as well. Okay. So we mark these out for now. We'll reach off from here in a second. We're going to shift, when we put our leads up, just shift the lead marks over a half inch. The blue lines there, transfer it onto the... Yeah. Right here. You're marking on the, on the actual plate. Somebody <laughs> surely has a pencil around here. Ah, right here. Look down here, let me see your pencil. You transfer the mark from the bottom straight up, but you put your crow's foot up here. Down here where you made your mark is where it's the most accurate, so that's where the crow's foot goes. Come on, jump down here. Come on, Trent. Boys, get up here! Again, we're not, you guys aren't just going to walk away and do your own thing. We're working right here. <laughs> Let me have the camera. Get this on the vlog, guys. Get this on the vlog. We're getting ready to get it. The so the, the kids, they really, it's, they really enjoy the hands-on part of it. Um, it's tough to keep them focused whenever you're actually doing the ex talking to them about the next steps and explaining the processes um, it's a struggle sometimes like herding cats but once you get to the hands-on portion of it and you have enough work for everybody they really really enjoy it and, and get get motivated <laughs>
we already have our jig for our uh, two trusses that we're uh, making screwed to the floor. And uh, we started cutting our boards uh, to, for each place. We label them all. And then we had to create our uh, gusset plates uh, that we're gonna glue together and nail to the, the joints to make it more sturdy. Uh, so we made a bunch of patterns so each one can be cut the same way. We're pre-drilling them so we know we get the same amount of screws and the exact same spacing on each truss. Uh, so it's a little slow going today, just trying to create all those patterns. And now we hope that it'll, it'll speed up. Now that we have the patterns made, uh, we can start building each individual truss. So remember, we're gonna have that on top, but you're gonna have the slick side facing up. So when we pre-drill it, we're gonna nail through the slick side up. The blue is gonna go to the, the sanded side as the wood, the actual natural wood finish. I think I enjoyed building the walls uh, because it's a lot of nailing and I don't that, I'm not that good at nailing and it's just been a lot of practice. The reason I enrolled in the class is because all of my family has been working at like factories their whole life and that's kind of construction and my grandpa that recently passed, he was a carpenter and I thought that would be pretty cool to do. And construction's kind of a gateway thing to do it. Start working your way down the sides here. Start pulling it up. You're right here. Somebody yeah, hand yeah, quickly. Go ahead and pull up a little more, Alex. Pull up higher. Your widget up. Start working your way down. There we go. See, so yeah, we definitely need to modify the jig for the first one. Let's go ahead and stand it up, stand against the wall over here. And so much work. Yeah, I believe the students know that we're building a modular home. We talk about it quite a bit of the differences in uh, typical home construction on site and then the manufactured home that we're building. So we're, we talk about it almost daily. We need to probably take a few field trips to job site of a traditional stick frame house and then it'd be nice to take them to a manufactured home facility to see how that's all put together as well here we can notch out spot in the middle here and then same over here just one spot here that way you can get your hammer underneath of it and help pry it up easier okay that would be plenty glue then then you take take your gusset your 815 you're always gonna put this the side that sand it down smooth side up line it up with your marks One thing that we have altered, uh, we're building our own trusses rather than uh, having them pre-manufactured pre and shipped to us. So we're using plywood gussets and we're nailing and gluing those. Uh, so that's not something typical, uh, just gluing everything. So the sheeting uh, the, on the roof, all the, the gluing the walls to the floor, things like that. We wouldn't necessarily do uh, on a typical house, but for the transportation purposes, that's we went ahead to take those, took those precautions. I have no doubt this will be just as sturdy as any other home. Uh, we're taking extra precautions because it's being shipped down the road. So, you know, like I said, it's gonna be glued and uh, either nailed or screwed everywhere. Uh, so I would say it's probably more durable than, than, a, than a house that's typically built on, on a foundation.